Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can design a perfect resume. Before you apply for any job, the number one thing you have to invest is your resume because that is what leads you to the next step, which is the interview step. No matter how much experience you have, if you do not have a proper resume, it is never going to lead you to the interview step and you might not get the job. So designing a very good resume that explains everything about you and all your skill is very important. So in this video, I'll show you the different variation of my resume since 2018 and what are the things I have improved. Now the current version of my resume, I think it is like the most complete one for me and you can copy some of the information that I add in the resume and also where you can find the uh, ready uh, template for the, your resume and you can use it. Not only that, I'll also mention what are the important things you have to mention and what are not the important thing, like how to design it and where you put those information. So that should be like eye catchy for the recruiters or anyone who is like uh, going to read your resume. So let's check out my first design of resume in 2018 and then I will show you the current one with a lot of more information. So if I come to my screen in here, this is the 2017 version of it. So uh, prior to this one also I had another resume. It is not really nice. This is this one. And I was thinking it is the best resume I have back then in 2000, I don't know, 2017 or 16. See how much like information it has. Only two lines about my, myself. I was like a computer uh, teacher and academy and I did mention uh, a few things about the school that I have studied. But check out this one, like these are my skills and I put these dots in here as uh, a pointing like this is my skill. It is not something that you have to mention. I, I think once upon a time it was a trend. People used to put dots in here or the stars. I don't know why I put this one. Currently I have no explanation because how you can rate yourself based on these stars. I'm a web designer. Sometimes I get stuck in designing like CSS, which is the, the most simple thing. Anyway, so let's go back to the resume that I had like in 2017. This is the one I had. This is one page resume. Number one thing you have to mention. One page resume is not enough. It should be more than one page. Imagine I explain about what I have in here, about my channel and this is what I do. This is my school and this is my experience. Your experience in two line is not enough. And this is where I have like start teaching computer and I started working as a web designer, doing freelance. It doesn't explain what did you do there. So it was not enough and it, it, it was a good resume, but it is not enough. So you have to have at least two page and you have to tell more about yourself. Now, the next variation, what I did was I added more information since I downloaded this template. What I did, I added an arrow in here. So for more details, I come, I should completely delete this one because it is really unrelevant. A lot of people will go to the next page and this was not really good action for me. But yeah, it was one of the thing. But since I went to a lot of interviews and the recruiters talked to me and said, hey, this is missing in your uh, resume. These are some of the things. In the first page, you know, a lot of um, recruiters, they will just scan your resume. That's good that I have mentioned these things. But when it comes to the second page, I have a lot more details. Now, this is much better than the other one. So I worked in freelancer.net and themeforest.net. What did I do? I, I, was with, I worked with Laravel and PHP. These are very important. You have to highlight them. Like I have worked with PHP, Laravel, UI and UX. I have worked with React.js, Angular and Vue. You have to highlight them, make it bold. So when the recruiter is looking at your resume, they can see those things. And those are the important thing. And these are the companies I have worked for. for and these are the software that I have used really great and this was the second version of my resume that i was uh, getting a lot of interview for and i'll talk about like uh, why i didn't get the job in the future videos but for now the focus is in the resume and yeah this is the resume in 2019 i keep updating though i started working in 2018 like as a full-time software developer but since then i keep bringing uh, if you check the version of this one I didn't put experience properly in this page. So see, I have the education in, in here. No one cared about education in the first place, especially in software development. They will come to, this, uh, to the education part once they understand you are the right person. So what you have to do is you have to 
mention your skill and experience in the first page. For example, I have worked with HTML5 and jQuery. And one of the other things you have to um, check is spelling mistake. Make sure you don't have ex spelling mistakes. I remember one time this was written HTML6, which does not exist. That was a typo. And an editor called me and said, hey, you have HTML5 experience? I said, yes, I do. And he said, you have mentioned HTML6 in your resume. I said, oh, that is a typo. Later, I fixed this one. So typo is like um, not good. So you have to make sure you don't have a lot of typo. Really good that you mentioned because a lot of people in the job description say you have to have X years of experience, five years, six years or 10 years maybe something like that, which is not really good at, in my opinion, because sometimes a, like a two years developer is better than a 10 years developer. It is not about like the years. You can like leave a mediocre developer for 10 years and still we cannot call you a senior. And yeah, so talking about your hobbies, it is very important because a lot of companies will hire people who are like motivated. So you have to mention about something that you really do. Now, um, next up, yeah, the second page is almost the same. The only thing I have added in 2019 was experience. You have to add this one in here. And also the timeline is very important. It shows you where, uh, when did you start and when did you end it? And some, sometimes you shouldn't put uh, like a small dot, like timelines. For example, you started in January and you started, uh, you finished in June or July, like four months or five months of work will uh, question you like, why did you leave the job? It did the company did not like you or you didn't do anything properly. So it is good to mention like at least one or two years of working in a company like differently. So this is my current one. I'm not going to talk a lot. In this first, in the first page in here, I should mention, I should highlight all of this. So if I zoom in a little bit in this one, you can notice the difference between these two. As I said, the skills you have, you have to, um, you have to put like a highlight on them. For example, in this one, I have worked with PHP, Laravel, Vue, Angular, WordPress, Python, Shopify. Those should be bold because that is what is important in your resume. Yes, this is my profile. If you are looking at this, I think I gained some weight, but yeah. And also some of the, the skills that I have, I highlighted in here. I think it was the previous one also, but yeah, it is good to mention because a lot of recruiters do not understand all of this. Now you talk about jQuery, yes. I like the company want you to know jQuery, so you have to add it in here. Alpine.js, I think I did a typo in here, but I'll fix that. Yes, that is also a typo. Anyway, this is how you design your resume. And, uh, and as I mentioned, always make it two page. Put more information, as much information as you have. Also, mention, mention about your current job and what do you do. Currently, I am like full-time freelance. I like uh, six months ago, I left my job because the freelancing is fitting me. Like I have a lot of clients, but the thing is you have to mention everything. I'm not applying for any job. But yeah, this is what you should do. And this is how you should explain everything about like your experience. What did you do? Like if I work in this company, these are what I did. Like I did CEO optimization for business and websites. And if you are an instructor, what did you teach? Something like this. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to explain it more. If the first page of your resume can catch the attention, they will go to the next page also. So that is very important that you have to highlight all your skill in the first page. So now that you understand how to design a resume, you can copy the information from here, but not my profile, of course. But where do you get this like nice looking uh, resume in here? I don't know if it is nice looking to you or not, but I remember once I showed it to someone and someone like was very impressed and said, it is like the best resume I have seen. And I know a lot of people make it on a word file or like, and another format, that's also fine, but I like it to a little bit colorful, uh, Colorful. that's why I added. Now I wanna show you where you can download them. Of course, the best free resource is FreePick, but you can always search uh, other places also. So in FreePick, what you can do is, you can come here, you can just search for a resume template and you can download it for free and use it in your project. If you wanna like buy their like premium plans also, they have some premium design also, but you can do this one. But if I search for the resume design or resume template, 
you will find a lot of them so all you have to do is pick one design it a little bit for example this one is very simple and you can use this one and mine should be also here but yeah this is one of the other colorful one and i'll just check a few and you can do the rest uh, yourself if you would like to so if i come in here this is one of the nice looking very simple and a lot of people like this one it is not very colorful like mine but yeah it is a perfect one that you can do if you are a minimalistic person which is really good and this is also the colorful one if you are a designer especially graphic designer this one is nice for you i know it is one page that you can extend it to another page so you have to like make that part yourself and this is also colorful if you are a girl and this one is i think for women that's why it is like purple so yeah this is how you can design your resume where you can find this template i hope this video has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video